today I'm working and filming outside, yet again somewhere on my favorite archaeological monument, which is massive in size. It's really something very special. When I started studying archaeology, now already a long time ago, I was confronted with that iconic image. I knew immediately that I wanted to go there, Hadrian's Wall in Northern England. Therefore I directed my research interests towards that goal. It did not take too long and I was able to resume studies in Glasgow, Scotland, not too far off Hadrian's Wall. And finally I was there, the wind sill. The most stunning part of Hadrian's Wall, dramatic, beautiful northern landscape. And of course, Roman archaeology as good as it gets. You can actually see an ancient frontier line in the landscape. You can visit forts, mall castles, watchtowers, temples and so much more. All incredible monuments on their own, but connected and part of a system. And you can travel along that monument from coast to coast. However, I'm not talking only about Hadrian's Wall as my favorite archaeological monument. Of course, it's great and it's World Heritage Site, but it's part of the frontiers of the Roman Empire. This is part of a whole lot more. Together, the Roman frontiers form a vast monument. They can be traced in the Near East. The frontier runs along the mighty rivers Danube and Rhine. It goes as far as Scotland, runs from Glasgow to Edinburgh, the Antonine Wall. And right now I'm here in the dense Bavarian forests. Behind me is the line of the Limes, the Roman frontier in Bavaria, also World Heritage Site. Currently I am here to create contents for the smartphone app Limes Mobile in Bavaria. The very same app exists for the Antonine Wall in Scotland as well, it was a joint project. What is the aim? The aim is to bring contents in the landscape and allow users to actually find those great monuments and discover them and get reasonable information on those great monuments in the landscape. So what actually are we providing? We are providing videos, we are providing AR content or we are providing 360 content. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to create a 360 content with the drone and it hopefully will allow the user to understand topography of the whole monument here in Bavaria and the Kipfenberg area. Why are the Roman frontiers my favorite archaeological monument? There are so many other great monuments, Stonehenge, Forum Romanum, Pompeii, you name it. Many, many other archaeological monuments. Well, there are many reasons, but what I think makes it that little bit more interesting is the variety. It is part of many different countries. So you're visiting a different culture today and that is true for the past as well. So when you're visiting the archeological remains of the Roman frontiers, it's not only an archeological experience, but also a cultural experience in the presence. And of course it is the archaeology that is great. Just recently the frontier along the Rhine and along the Danube became world heritage sites. The Limes in Germany, Hadrian's Wall and the Antonine Wall in Scotland have been world heritage sites for quite a while. It is certainly a transnational world heritage site and it is called Frontiers of the Roman Empire. And now here are a few examples of the outstanding archaeology.
What I really like about it, the monument covers so many aspects of antique life. Hardly any part is missing. In comparison with other monuments, you really have it all there. Forts, villages, religion, army, civilian life and many, many more aspects. But there's more to it. It's not only archaeology, it's also geography. You learn so much about topography of landscapes. The Roman frontiers can be found in deserts or in the dense forests of Germany. Such different places to live in and such different places to experience today. And last but not least, on a personal level, it's very interesting. You can visit so many countries just learning about that monument. You can stand above the ditches of Ardoch, splendid view on a marvelous fort in Scotland. Or you can be here in Bavaria at the fort of Böhming. There's always, immediately, a certain level of familiarity if you visit the Roman frontiers because they share common features. It is, so to speak, a little homecoming no matter where you are. But of course, it's really great to visit all those places. So here is a little compilation. Roman frontiers have relevance still today. Many parts are already World Heritage Site and many will follow. That in itself shows the universal value. For me, the topic is of relevance today as well. If we look, for example, at the EU struggling with frontiers and Britain, for example, leaving because they want to take back control also of their borders. These topics are also reflected when we study Roman frontiers. How did the Romans cope with migration? Was frontier control successful? In the end, I would say probably not, otherwise we would still live in the Roman Empire. Anyway, there is just so much to discover that it is so diverse that it may cover almost any interest. And that is why I really like the Roman frontiers and I consider it my favorite archaeological monument. Okay, hope that was of interest. If you like it, just subscribe and we will then meet in the next video.